A standard press release has seven sections. The first part is your company logo and the date line, which is the intended date of the release. This appears on the very top. Section 2 is the headline, which emphasizes the main topic. This is the most important part, as it is the first element which readers consume before deciding to read further. An interesting headline raises interests and encourages further reading. A subheadline can be included if it supports the headline. Section 3 is the introduction. It is typically one paragraph long, at four to seven sentences long. Here is where you provide general and basic answers to five main questions of who, what, when, where, and why. Start with the following format of city writing. Section 4 is the body. Here is where you further state why and how the topic is relevant, and include in perspectives and quotes from relevant parties that are involved in the topic. Do include in other information and details like statistics which may be of interest to the topic. This section is typically one paragraph long, but it can span across two to three short paragraphs if necessary. Section 5 is called the boilerplate. This is where you write a short general about section which provides background information on the issuing company, organization, or individual of the press release. Section 6 is the end. This appears at the end of the page where you use either a center formatted end or more to indicate that the writing of the press release has reached its end or there is another page. Section 7 is the final section where you include in the media contact information which covers your name, phone number, email address, mailing address, and other relevant contact information. This is to allow for the PR or other media relations personnel to contact you.